is coming back. Max is coming back at 154 in January. He's still technically champion. I know you heard that. The return of the young lion. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one lion. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxer Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise guy to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. We have Jermel Charlo seemingly, what? reportedly, what? supposedly what? coming back early next year in 2025 in January, oh, man. Yeah. And they even added some further specificity to the date. They're saying potentially January 25th. And yeah, you guessed it. Janu January 25th is coincidentally the same day that... David Morrell versus David Benavidez is going down, you know? so hopefully, can you imagine that? We get David Benavidez versus David Morrell on the same card with Jamel Charlo. But wait, there's more. It gets better. You know the 154-pound division is hot, right? Well, Jamel Charlo, is, he's not coming back against a little baby boy. He's coming back against a real hitter in 154-pound division, a contender, in Jesus Ramos Jr., that is what the reports are now. Nothing is finalized, but those are reports, you know. The last time we seen Jermel Charlo was when he went against old Cinnamon. Oh, 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 oh. You know, at 168, you know, so that was a little while ago, you know what I'm saying? So he's coming back off of a loss, not his first loss. His first loss was against Tony Harrison that he did avenge, you know, successfully. But then he suffered his second loss, and he had a long sabbatical. You know, last time we saw him, he wasn't even at 154, right? He went he went up to 168 to challenge Canelo Alvarez, right? And it didn't go well for him. But now he's coming back out of, you know, his hiatus, his sabbatical. And, you know, he's been declared as a champion to recess. Now he's back, and he's going in there with a formidable opponent, man. Now, you know, there's always going to be some people that are naysayers and, and doubters. And, you know, people that will denounce things. It just... They just hard to satisfy, right? But I think if you know boxing and you know the 154 pound division, how can you be mad at this fight? For a return fight, is this is a challenge, man. Jesus Ramos Jr. He only has one loss, you know, and that was to Erickson Lubin. And some people say it was controversial. Me, I believe that the right person won. I thought it was a close fight, but Erickson Lubin, in my opinion, did did more, you know, and did enough to win, you know. So I thought he took the victory. But it was a good fight. And if you had Jesus Ramos winning, I'm not too mad at you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not mad at that at all. But that just that's just a testament to how good he is you know uh eric lubin only lost to uh jermel charlo you know and sebastian fundora uh both championship level fighters you know with sebastian fundora being the champion right now with the wbc and wbo so eric lubin although he lost by stoppages to both those opponents those aren't those aren't bad losses you know and so jesus ramos you know having his only loss to eric lubin that's not bad his best win you know uh would probably be brian mendoza you know brian mendoza is a tough guy who uh lost to likes of tim zoo or sorry boa chook boa chook excuse me and others and he, and he actually stopped Sebastian Fedora as well. You know, um, that's not that's not a bad um, bad person to beat and be be the best on your resume right now in this flooded 154 pound division, which has a lot of parity in it. I would say also his last win, I believe, is Johan Gonzalez, who we just saw uh, fight against the young boy Jonas. Jonas Tellez, right, the Cuban fighter. So, um, like I said, um, this fight with Jesus Ramos, he's a good, he's a good, good, capable fighter. He's only 23 years old, a young bull. He's been in there with some good opponents, and to me, as a bounce back fight, this is going to be a challenge. You know, Jesus Ramos, like I said, man, 154 pound division. You have to have him up at the at the top. You know, of course, you have the likes of Terrence Bud Crawford, Israel Madrimov, Tim Zhu, who he just saw lose, but he's still in the mix. Bakram Mertazaliev, you know, uh, Virgil Ortiz, Jesus Ramos, Eric Lubin, Jamel Charlo coming back. We have Errol Spence, Sebastian Fedora. I mean, I could just name so many Charles Conwell, the young bull. Damn. I'm sorry. You know, Xander Zayas, bro, 154 is so deep, bro. Like, that's that. The, the, the great thing about the 154 pound division is that you could lose like Tim Zhu. And one or two fights, you're right back in the mix, right back in title contention because it is so deep. That's the benefit of being in a, in a, in a deep uh, uh, division like that. Now, the flip side is that it's going to be very challenging and, and hard to get to the top and stay at the top because, you know, it's, it's so much competition there. But the good thing is that, man, you're just one win away from being right back in the mix no matter how bad your last uh, uh your last outing was so man i think this this fight is great if jermel charlo wins he, he it's gonna add momentum to that uh bud and, and jermel charlo fight that we've been wanting since bud put a whooping on earl spence and if jesus ramos wins then you gotta consider him for 
you know, the next title or the next man up, man. So this is a very good fight. I'm looking forward to this. Hopefully it is true. You know, like I said, these are still rumors. Nothing has been finalized. These are just reports. And, you know, it's been speculated on the last PBC broad broadcast. So that adds momentum and fuel to the fire. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Are you excited about this fight? Are you excited to see Jamel Charlo to come back to the ring? Are you also excited about this matchup in particular? Or would you rather Jamel Charlo be fighting somebody else? I know a lot of us wanted to jump into the Bud fight, but he is just coming off a long layoff and a long loss so let, 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 let him get back to where he's at you know what i'm saying let him get back comfortable and not to mention he's been he's been having some uh mental health issues as well man struggles with mental health is is no joke him and his uh and big charlie you know jamal charlo so we wish him the best i'm just happy to see him back in the ring and i'm happy to see him back in the ring against a formidable opponent man he's coming back to uh to to stay claim to the 154 pound division man this is a great way to do it against jesus ramos if he could win so we'll see man we'll see y'all let me know what y'all think about that don't forget to hit that like button but most importantly remember with God, we can do anything without God, we're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.